According to the latest census, the white population is decreasing nationwide. For the first time, the white population in the United States has declined. But there's one place their numbers are up almost 9%, Brooklyn. This wealthy white migration has led to increases in rent, cost of living, and requests to speak to the manager. So I followed a trail of succulents and Wes Anderson DVDs deep into the den of gentrifying Brooklyn, where I sat down with Tommy Holland. The white population is going up almost 9%. The black population is going down almost 9%. Would it be safe to say that that's how they're showing Black Lives Matter? By just moving them out to somewhere else? What they're doing is they're just buying out and cleaning out a neighborhood, and, and it's not right. Tommy's lived in Brooklyn his entire life. Everything's going up sky high, and it's harder to live. So the way out is to sell the house. Tommy's mother bought their brownstone in 1963 when black home ownership in Brooklyn was booming. But lately, black mortgages have been going the way of the dodo bird. You have the, you know, the white population that's moving in, and they walk up and down the street. Some speak, others walk past you like, uh, why are you here? But you got the stick, man. Yeah, but you if don't, it, they don't think you like a magical Negro? Yeah, look well. At this, look at it, that's one of the magical Negro sticks. Okay, you just gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> that scared gentrifies. A black dude with a magic stick? But no amount of black wizardry could make the block parties lit again and residents like Judith Lavelle and Ayanna Prescott don't even recognize their own neighborhood. So this neighborhood used to be black. All black, 100%. Like the 70s black, like when right. the music was good and O.J. Simpson was just a really good football player. It was all black and you had discount stores where we could get things cheaply. We don't have that anymore. Yeah, our bodega is now a nail, like a high-end nail salon. What new milks have arrived? Oh my gosh, show? there's so much. There's <laughs> hemp, there's oat, there's um, hazelnut, there's coconut. The Trojan horse of almond. gentrification seemed to increase the volume of nut milks while decreasing actual necessary food supply. And even common decency was facing extinction. I've had uh, neighbors call 311. 311 is a hotline New York has used to complain about non-emergency shit. And the gentrifiers seem to have it on speed dial. Um, so 311 is like the snitch line, but the police don't come right away. Right. Exactly. So it's like the dry snitch line. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Couldn't you ring my bell? Introduce yourself. Come up, say hello. So are these just people that don't know how to make friends? Or is there an other of issue of that? Possibly. There's an anthropological term for this, racism. And the only thing rising faster than the number of man buns is the real estate. The prices are just skyrocketing. The houses going for three million. Before- Wait, I'm sorry, what'd you say? The houses in the uh, best I go for three million now. Three million dollars. How much you pay for this house? 23, seven. $23,000. And you can sell it right now? For close to two million. Oh, you got to go. Wait a minute, you don't want to say that was your stay. Well, I did that before you told me what you was getting. <laughs> you know, the money is, is great, but it's not everything. Right, right. It's about the community. And if we're going to save that, we need to set some ground rules. What are some things that people moving into the neighborhood could do to help honor what has been built over the decades? Just be kind. Wait, just be, be kind? Yeah, just be kind. Okay, okay. I'm write that one down. Just be kind. Be kind. <laughs> Communication. Communication. Don't call 311. Don't snitch. Support the local small owned businesses. The local weed dealers. If that's your thing, yes. Definitely introduce yourself to your neighbors. And like I said, embracing what was already here. Don't just think that because you're here, you're entitled to your $9 artisanal coffee. Artisanal coffee? Mm hmm. Arabica beans from Kenya. Or, That's um, wild. Yeah. Is that where your coffee came from? Got this from a bodega. No, you did not. That's not a bodega cup. F it is good, <laughs> all right? Damn, even I need caffeine. I gotta get the word out. And the only way to do that is in the universal language of Brooklyn. The flyer. Get out a look. Oh, Tell me what you I'm think. I'm making these flyers. Tell me if that checks out. If you know, do respect the culture of the block. Which means clap on beat. Clap on the twos and floors, <laughs> that's, that's big. good. Oh I like that. Yeah. You gotta be on beat. You can't have a block party if everybody I mean, off you beat. You can't, you can't. Well, this one, don't start a sentence with when I was at NYU. 
put these up. Thank put you. them all around. Get the street okay. team together. Thank yes, you. Yes, sir. All right. All right. The community approved the gentrifier, but would it work? So would you consider yourself a gentrifier? I don't know. I've never really thought of it before. Do you speak to your neighbors? One of them, one time. Just like ran into each other in the hallway. Damn, this man needs an education. We're trying to spread the word on ways we can help gentrifiers. I could fly the whole town, but would it make people respect their black neighbors? Would it stop the 311 calls? The dog shit everywhere. Wait, should I say dog shit or dog poop? Dog shit for sure. Can anything I do make a difference? Um, no phones for Karens, 311 for murder only. Mm -hmm. Contribute. Give the closest black person to you $50. I don't carry cash on me. I'll shoot you my Venmo. You ready? S scan that. <laughs> All right. All right, I got it. Boom. Appreciate that. Thank you. Damn, firing does work. But is it enough to stop the erosion of this historic community and hold on to legacy residents like Tommy? I'm going to Florida. The uh, f you going to Florida? I'm tired of the snow. I'm tired of shoveling the snow. I'm tired of the leaves. Are you tired of racism? Yes, I am. And you don't go to Florida? Oh, shit. I'm sorry for cussing. It's okay.